Welcome! In this video, we'll explore how to perform validation testing and feature interpretation, focusing on robustness, stability, fairness, and hyperparameter tuning using Nimbus, an enterprise AI analytics platform by Solidix Partners. We will see the demo of Model Estimation Module. Under Model Initiation, you can see that we can choose from different modeling families like classification, regression, time series, and under each family. Each family includes various techniques such as artificial neural networks, decision trees, random forests, and logistic regression classifiers. We can either build a new model like an artificial neural network or a classical ML model, or import an external one and run it through the Nimbus workflow. So here you can choose the techniques. We can choose the target variable, select the exogenous variables, and depending on the family, we can choose the metrics. After entering the threshold value, we can set the parameters. So for here, for each of the models that you want to develop, you can perform hyperparameter tuning and according to your requirements, give these values of the parameters. For artificial neural network, you can have different activation functions, solvers, and hidden layer sizes. Let's look at one of the results of the model estimation function. So here you can see a model summary table, which shows your champion model, your challenger model, and even different graphs that show you the AUC feature importance hypertune parameter graph. We also have tabular results that shows the different parameters for each of the model technique that you have chosen. Right, but there could also be a case where you've already trained a model using TensorFlow, PyTalk, or Scikit-Learn. Instead of rebuilding, you can import the model into Nimbus using Model Manager and run the same validation tests. Then we move on to the model testing. So here you can do performance testing where you can plot the classification curve, the AUC curve, the lift curves, perform assumption testing in case of regression use case. If you have multiple models, you can do model comparison, perform MAC testing, do sensitivity analysis, scoring, scaling, assess fairness and biasness, compute drift analysis, etc. Nimbus provides a standardized validation layer, whether your model is built in-house or by a vendor. Now, let us look at the ANN real-time monitoring project and look at the pipeline manager. So, the pipeline manager in Nimbus, whole model workflow comes together in one place. So instead of switching between different modules, we can do everything here. So starting from the data import, missing value imputation, feature engineering, variable selection, sampling, and finally the model testing. Let's look at the model testing in detail. So under the performance metrics node, we check how well the model predicts. Metrics like AUC, KS, accuracy, precision, recall, and RMSE are computed based on the task. Backtesting, perform K-fold cross-validation. Feature importance shows us variables driving the model, given transparency into decision-making. We check fairness and consistency across groups to ensure the model doesn't favor or penalize any segment. Finally, we stress the model with shocks and custom scenarios, checking if it stays stable under baseline adverse and severely adverse conditions. To monitor the model, you can schedule the pipeline. Under settings, use the schedule interval feature. So you can schedule this pipeline each day, every week, month, or year. We also have an email on failure functionality. So if you enable this, and enter the email ID. In case your model is breaching certain thresholds, the respective stakeholders are informed. After that, save the pipeline, compile it, and trigger it. Once it runs, you can view its execution history. So here you can see each execution history is attached with a unique ID with a detailed timestamp of when that particular pipeline was run. Let's check pipeline results. So here you can see end-to-end -end results from raw data, 
feature engineering, to variable selection, sampling, and then model testing. You can simply click one node and view its results. So you can see performance metrics on the development data and the monitoring data. You can also see the keyfold cross-validation under backtesting, where you can see the AUC value across different folds. You can see the feature importance, where you can see the importance of various features, assess fairness, and biasness.